But doesn't it feel like Richard is really describing himself here? Because he's a man so unacquainted with athletic exertion that five minutes of physical activity leaves him wheezing like he's just run a marathon. Richard, from what we can tell, is a mostly sedentary man. He's not used to any kind of extreme of anything. So the busy day that Richard just described might have been mere moments of work. So he could have been exaggerating his activity just as he was diminishing his food intake. Still, we must admire the pristine clarity of his reasoning. Because if the hypothetical runner, let's also call this person Richard, isn't scoffing down patties on the park bench, then what is it that could possibly restore his vigour? If it's not oxygen, carbon dioxide, or any of the mundane gases known to students of the natural world, then by Richard's impeccable logic, it must be an undiscovered component of the air. QED. And all he's taken, really, is more ether from the energy. 19th century physicists presumed the existence of a cosmic ether. Just as water carries waves across the sea, this ether was supposedly the medium that allowed light waves to propagate through our cosmos. But scientists went looking for this and found absolutely nothing. It turns out there was no hidden medium, or at least none was needed to explain how light worked. So this was an entirely redundant idea. Richard's conception of the ether seems to create even more puzzles than that of the 19th century physicists. 